halfling and templar assassin completely two different heroes when they want to join a fight when they want to do things uh morphling definitely more late game oriented compared to templar assassin salad He's in trouble. He's dead. Yeah, very dead on his screen. Arrow hits and will die to Monet. Not the first blood you want to give up in this situation. And uh, Monet, to start the game, well, he wants a salad. When I say first blood, I mean like the real first blood, not the one that happened. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't count it. Not the real first blood. The yeah, next yeah, first. Yeah. Second blood. The laning stage first blood. Pick you. Getting run down. So is Salad. Sound might die for the second time, and that will be after the Moran is taken out by Zhao Yu. So I guess he thought he could get through those trees. Usually it's cut down by your carry with the calling blade, so you can pull. Yeah. The... He's level four, does have a book for himself, but uh, since he was stacking a lot, not going to be level six. He always has uh, two heroes to play with in this game with Mortimer's Kisses. They're going to find LWW. Ooh, they, they saw him going under that sentry. So now he'll morph into the tiny avalanche comes out. LWW is going to be killed off. And now they got the damage with the Rolling Thunder to lock down XWI. Primal Roar was used, but it doesn't get them anything. So off that Invis, well, under the sentry and immediately dead. The trade is not well worth it for Aster. Actually works out in those ancient stacks, but I think you're... With the way the lane went, you're more than okay with XXS getting a free 14-minute Helm of the Overlord. And here comes Zhao Yu Arena, but right into an avalanche toss. MKS dwarves, they've got the spear. XWY dies. LWW will fall in tandem with Knight. So two heroes dead on the side of Ehome. They'll go after Salad. They've got the cookie. They'll lock down the cot on the melt strike. Triple kill for Monet. Farm or not, he's getting the kills. They're under the Moonlight Shadow and won't get the finishing blow on Picu. But Demos from it. Dagger of Ristol also dropped, but that, I mean, it doesn't look like a pitchfork. I don't really know if that's <laughs> a dagger. Oh, they'll go. The spear. Oh, the arena. The combo's not there. Primal Roar and then the ancient Granite Golem just wailing on these heroes. They've got two rocks that are hitting away at them with Tiny and the ancient Granite Golem, but they'll take out the Granite Golem. They'll get. Pick you and they'll look for the Mortimer's Kisses that are stopped thanks to the Spike Carapace. Melt Strike, Avalanche on LWW. The cookie to get further in. They take out the Nyx Assassin, morph into the Tiny. Avalanche hits Monet and XWY. It's a double kill for XXS right now. They are staying on E-Home, maybe a little bit too close. You gotta understand, XWY, he has a gap close in the, in the blink. So they've stayed, Avalanche tossed, down goes Salad. He's been tossed. That's uh, a bit of a roughy. Mars missing the arena. They got the kill building into. Blink dagger picked up. No shard yet. Trying to buy a Lotus Orb for himself to reflect. Roar back to Beastmaster. Ooh. Midnight. BKB toss up into the air. And that means he's not getting out with the BKB there for XWY. They have the control. LWW. No spike carapace. This time the kisses do the work. No, it's actually still Monet that gets the kill. He drops the gem back oh, to Boboka. Salad. He bought back. 67 seconds. Roche respawning. I mean, Let's this... see if it's going to be a short spawn. Just attack. letting the ancient black dragon push him bottom. These heroes are staying. These heroes committing. This time, they're going to try and bait out the invis rune. This didn't work out for the last team that tried to bait a rune. Let's see if it works out for them this time. The arena's up, but go and get the kill on XWY, so it's going to start out pretty well. The Rolling Thunder is going to be stopped to the Primal Roar. Obaga still caught inside the arena. The gem's on the deck, but they get it into the hands of Picu. They start to leave on the side of Ehome. Kisses. Fox. Oh, night. Dead. He'll go to sleep with a good night kiss. That trap slowing him down. Buyback from XWY. He says sorry. I'm not sure if they want to give him the agent that's trying to protect themselves against Beastmaster. Primal Roar and Templar Assassin overwhelming damage. And now without E on this, he just might die. They'll go in. They've got the arena. It's around on four with BKBs being popped around by all three cores on the side of Aster. They'll turn it around with the Primal Roar onto Zhao Yu. They've got themselves one kill. They look at MKS. The cookie is perfect. And MKS drops. He's dead for 52. He's got buyback and probably forced to use it. There it is immediately. Impale, Spirit Vessel, Monet. <laughs> Compliment from the highest, the highest authority of uh, 
jokes. Bubble Cow will break the smoke on the high ground, but they know where he is. Spear, BKB, Primal Roar, all the way out. Xiao Yu, whoo, see ya. They get that kill on a Xiao Yu. They'll look over at MKS. You bought back before? Well, you're dead again, sir. They might call LWW it. LWW falls, Knight with a TP out. Aeon Disc, he'll survive and back into the base. Bubble Cow, what a spot to be in. They try to go. Seems like it's gonna be another set of barracks. Glyph. Defense is tough. There goes the tier three tower. And another set of racks. Avalanche tossed up into the air. Melt strike. Take him out. And GG. Yeah, I mean, it, a little bit anticlimactic, but at the end of the day, Monet with the perfect game. And uh, Aster overall just dominating the side of V-Home. They had a little cucumber, a little feta, onion, some olives, and they were just killing Salad every single time. And he was, there was no real threat for this Templar Assassin throughout this whole game. Like they needed Pango to rotate plus Mars early on. Yeah. Uh, Monet was sitting at the top lane for like 15 minutes. This usually doesn't happen. And as soon as he got his Deso, TP's Spot. back to the bottom lane, they get the triple kill, they get the tower, proceed to move to the mid lane, they take another tower into Roche. Pretty clean execution from Team Aster. Tech was especially with no second hero, the creep wave not near, they had a chance to get a kill if they maybe put it together a little bit better. Rubik might be in trouble. Oh, they also do see Zhao Yu. Uh, Storm Hammer on both. Stun. That means LSA on both. Oh, they're going to get themselves the Marcy. Now they look for Salad. Telekinesis will keep him alive just by the skin of his teeth as it's first blood again for Monet. This Observer Ward pretty low over mid, but the damage is a little bit lacking to get a kill on the Dragon Knight. It's a lot of long distance poking with Illuminate, uh, Searing Chains, uh, Overwhelming Odds. Uh, they can keep the distance. LWW. Oh, oh, Remnant's back. Outplayed. <laughs> XWY getting a solo kill there on the Disruptor. Leaving the lane open right now for Bobica, who's sitting level five. Should be able to get to an earlier six. And he's got 900 gold saved up. So can only assume when that mech's gonna get here is pretty soon. Storm Hammer, Telekinesis, but a Laguna Blade and a right click from Monet to get another kill. Aster already 3,000 net worth ahead, and they're going bottom. They want MKS. There's nowhere for him to go except around these trees and into the creeps. He's blocked for a moment. XWY now here with Bobica and XXS. First the duel, duel the damage. Illuminate, and the winner winner, Chicken Dinner. This is also going to be a tower. I'm a little surprised that MKS decided to stay bottom. Usually, Draw Rangers want to get uh, six. He hits as they jump in. They want Monet. They don't have the unleashes time, so the damage is really lacking. Zhao Yu needs to now leave. They've got Laguna Blade if they can find themselves. The Marcy may not even need it. The Illuminate just misses. The wings don't clip, but Marcy's wings Dragon may Knight. be clipped out as they're trying to get out of this one with rebound. Knight ends up dying. Zhao Yu able to just survive rebounding out. It was only with Bovica who oh, I say that. did have a spirit for it. Searing chains to kill off Zhao Yu. Keeper of the Light does have uh, like two good heroes to play with. Number one, Ember Spirit of Success gets together with Pikyu and... Uh, are you a little surprised that maybe Aster aren't looking for a fight again, or...? Do they are... will now. Now that Legion Commander picked up the Blink Dagger, they're definitely gonna go look for something. And Rubik sounds like a juicy one. Blink, Duel, Storm Hammer, the damage is there. They'll get another victory, this time with an extra eight damage thanks to the level 10 talent. And that is now 38 damage for XXS, but Knight going the other way. He's got the Dragon Tail, the Static Storm committed. Sven's pretty tanky, the right clicks in from the Lina. Knight needs to run the Storm Hammer, the kill for Monet. And Knight jumps into darkness. Pretty similar to previous game where... He's going for his, that's kind of far, but he also has just finished off a Maelstrom himself. So double Maelstroms here. The map is going to shrink for Ehome. Got another glimpse, it's onto the Sven, but it's away from the team. And now, Monet over to the side. They've got the duel once more. That means another victory for XXS. Stormhammer on a night with the Laguna Blade Searing Chains as it's a second for Aster. They just keep getting caught in their own side of the map on Eom. Map 
shrinking. They There's not enough uh, space for them to farm. Zhao Yu trying to get his BKB. This is going to be the timing when e is going to try to look for a fight. This is a dead tier 2 tower. They're going to pop a glyph. Catapult still there. Lina has 70, 7 fiery soul charges. So it should be able to bring it down. Bobica unleash. Oh no. Xiao Yu. Yo, the rebound. He gets the kill, that's, but that's, that's going to cost his life. That's the best thing he could have done. And Bobica tips Xiao Yu. He knew that Bobica is going to be very greedy. Stay Try to stay, stay close. Maybe he gets the last hit. On Static Storm committed onto the Sven now, but where is your damage? The glimpse, the duel. Do they have the victory? No. Stolen Warcry from Rubik. This is also relatively good to be able to tank the up. Exactly, right? Like, I wonder, because we were seeing a lot of that five brewmaster a couple years back. We'd see like Red Panda always on the five brew. He brought it back. He played it the other day. So, yeah, I mean, maybe it's just that eliminate hitting from Bobica to get the kill in LWW. It's just that like mind sense of just being there always and trying to get yourself the kill and the carry, but they're not really the carry. Dual distance, all right. LSA, right click damage, another victory for XXS. He's level 13, so that's gonna be even more dual damage for him. Now in the form of 28 per victory, 84 for this. And wants to pick up the shard as well. Like this this shard, it, then it's not gonna be dispellable. It's passive, so you get the passive six, plus you get the extra 15. Monet, more cry. BKB, another duel and another victory. He is undefeated. Just bringing him into the arena and asking the crowd, are you not entertained? As they go after this Rubik, Salad steals the Storm Hammer, throws it back onto the Sven. But again, where's the damage? It's from the multi-shot of MKS. The right clicks from Monet. They've got the silence on a two. They should be able to get the kill on a knight. He's up onto the high ground with the remnant forward. Now MKS over to the side of the Storm Hammer that was stolen. Now thrown back on XWY. Sight of Fist, Searing Chains on a two. Blinding Light hitting three, going for more. And MKS is going to drop. It's looking like they're going to get everybody on the side of E-Home. As Aster go back down the steps as a TP comes through from the Marcy, wanting to fight again. But Xiao Yu, do you have the damage? Dispose XWI the right clicks, the unleash. XWY with a slight of miss, but now Rubik in trouble. Duel. There's the duel again from XXS. You come into my arena, you will lose. LWW on the run from XXS. It's a battle of the three letter names, and XXS will be the victor. And this fight has been going on for more than a minute. Uh, XXS duel resets and they get it one more time. Please find an extinguisher. One that's not expired, thanks. So they need to really put out the flame of Monet. And it's not looking like it's quite doable for them as uh, another, oh, another duel. Another duel, oi, BKB, there's the duel. Is the damage in the blind light and the right clicks? Sure, it's more than enough. Glimpse back, but and they look for more. They've got XXS. LWW will TP out. And with that dual victory, 168 dual damage for XXS. Plus some extra region coming out from that press the attack talent. Oh gosh, 96 to 3%. MKS, he can't catch a break. Like, uh, And there's the BKB, Monet. Well, another salad on the menu. I like how they're popping BKBs uh, to get the kills, but they're also like, fight faster. Yeah. Ne next axe, right? Right, Bobica? Come on. When was the last time you saw bots, too, even built? This is the fastest bots, too. Most definitely. Side of Fist, Searing Chains. Uh-oh, that means a duel's in your future. And that means a duel victory's in XXS's future. You're unleashing XXS because he's coming after you, Zhao Yu, and you cannot fight back. LWW will end up dead. Zhao Yu falls to XXS. Down goes Salad. Bobic is here because he's got bots too. I would not be surprised if they call the game. It is, uh, yeah. All right. You're not wrong. And uh, neither is Ehome for calling it here. Aster just destroying them. I, that was, that was a, the cleanest performance of the DPC so far.